All right, everybody, I am going to start talking about drawing in an elevation view. All right, here are some examples. Here's an example of a drawing in elevation view. This right here. It's a bunch of the tallest buildings in the world. And this is these are in elevation view. So as you can see, there's no perspective, there's no dimension. It's looking at a building or whatever that is, whatever it is that you're drawing, and you're looking at it straight on. All right. So what we're going to do is I want to take a look at this chair here. We're going to draw this in elevation. So we know you know that you're looking at it from the side from an angle so you see this side here and the front here we're gonna draw this from the front so we're gonna be looking at it basically from this direction all right uh, let me change my pen All right, so I have these two, this shape here and that shape here, and I'm going to draw that here, and draw that here, all right, then I have that shape there. And I know that shape is going to be lined up with this line here, so that's why I can just draw it there. And then the pillow. Now with the pillow, that might be where a little bit of shaping comes in, right? Because the pillow has this curve right there and there. And then it has Part of the sewing pieces right there. That's your pillow. Here's the back. The back, the line starts inside the arm of the chair. So the inside of the arm of the chair, if you're looking at it straight on, is here. It's not out here, it's not on top of this. So it's this is the inside line of the chair. And I'm gonna go up. And then you have the backing of the chair. We're going to assume that the backing is directly behind this, the pillow part of the chair. So you're not going to actually see the backing. If I wanted to, I could put in cushion points here. And then you have the legs. All right, and that's your elevation view. Very quickly, if I wanted to do it from the side.
All right. So that's my side. And that's it. Let's take a look at this house over here. Okay, I'm gonna start with the ground. All right. And you see these shapes here. Patio. Now I'm doing this just to get a sense, just to get a sense of the shape of the house, not necessarily for 100% you know, accuracy. Again, this is all flat on. Now you see this right here, that right there is at an angle. What I can't necessarily tell is if this is at an angle because the roof, this side of the roof is at an angle or, or because, the, of, because of how the photograph was taken. I'm going to assume that this is because of how the photograph is taken and so that this angle right here is actually going to be straight and and I know you see how this line here is right below this line but because I can see right here that this angle right here shows me that this line and this line are basically the same height from the floor I know that I would need to draw this like that that's how I figure that out. Similar to what's going on here. This line here and this line here in this picture are on two different heights. But if you are looking at it at elevation view, I can tell that this line and this line are the same height from the ground to that line and from the ground to that line. So if it's at the same height, and I can tell that because this line right here gets, feeds me, tells me that information that they are connected so again that way i know that when i'm doing this roof that line also goes there all right and so this is going to come down here's my roof okay and then the side of the garage here again i see dimension so these, this side right here is, gives me a sense of depth, but for elevations, I don't use that information. I don't draw that information here. And again, same thing. This is at an angle in the drawing, in the picture, but I'm going to draw that straight on because I am quite certain that this roof doesn't basically pitch in that wedge. So I'm going to put that there. That's straight. I'm doing that window. I'm doing it straight on like that. All right, and that's the garage. This is the bay window.
and some more windows. I'm going to have to show you in a different video how to do these bay windows or images that have uh, two these multiple these angle sides. All right. That's it. So, till we see each other in class. Have a good day. Oh, you know what? Let me put a person in there. class. See you later.